Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our sniff session series where we are sniffing our way through the 2023 spring and summer catalog. We are basically coming to the end of this series and this always makes me so sad. And I don't really necessarily know why because it's not like we're not gonna have like first sniffs and other sniff sessions to do together. But I don't know why. Whenever we come to the end of the series where we like actually go through each and every scent in the seasonal catalog, I always get kind of sad. <laughs> but today's video, we are going to definitely be sniffing our way through my favorite category, which is the bakery category. Um, there's not a ton of bakery scents in the spring and summer catalog because typically the bakery category is a little healthier during the fall and winter months, but that's not to say you can't enjoy a good bakery scent during the spring and summer season for sure, and we've got some really great ones. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first scent we are going to talk about is baked apple pie, and baked apple pie is one that typically will stay around in the, in the Scentsy catalog all year. Um, um, I personally feel like for me anyway, <laughs> this is definitely more of a fall time bakery scent because, oh man, this is heavy on the cinnamon. <laughs> it is heavy on the cinnamon, but it really does smell like a baked apple pie, like fresh out of the oven baked apple pie, but that cinnamon is definitely there. So if you are someone who's a little bit sensitive to cinnamon scents, this may not be the best one for you or if you get this scent and you think, okay, the cinnamon is a little bit stronger than I'd like it to be, you can always do some mixing. You can mix with like vanilla bean buttercream just to kind of like mellow it out a little bit, but it really does smell like a fresh baked apple pie for sure. So um, there's nothing else really to say <laughs> about that because I think that pretty much paints the picture of what this smells like to a T. Um, but Sensi describes baked apple pie as flaky crust, apples and spices combined in a strong scent. And yes, this is a very strong scent. Um, this is also available through Scentsy Club. You can get this as a brick. So if you like the larger sizes, um, if you and if you love this scent, that's definitely a great uh, perk to take advantage of through Scentsy Club, which is our subscription service, to get some of your favorite scents. Rather than getting them as a bar, you can get them in a big old brick, which is fantastic. So. Okay, so baked apple pie. That is the first one there for bakery. And we don't have a ton. How many do we have here? Four, five, six. We only have seven cents. So am I going to give you my top six? <laughs> I'm going to give you my top six <laughs> of out of seven, which is, which is great. Um, okay, so it's just basically which one isn't going to make the list. Okay, next one is a bestseller, and it is blueberry cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake this is one that I was super, I don't want to say super late to the game on, but I was pretty late to the game on. And this is a scent that people either love or hate. Um, some people smell sour milk from this. I don't. I just get legit authentic blueberry cheesecake. Like you get that rich sweetness. You get that like graham cracker crust and you get the sweetness of the blueberries in there too. So there, I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they, I don't know how they do it, but they basically trap this delicious <laughs> cheesecake into a little bit of wax. It's, it's kind of trippy. So um, I have always liked the way this smelled, um, but I always thought like when I first smelled it before I ever warmed it, I, I just thought, but oh, I don't know that I want my house to smell like a legit cheesecake but I love it. <laughs> I really do love this. And this one was actually the very first scent that Sean ever had anything like that. I shouldn't say that he had anything nice to say about. Um, this is the first scent that Sean really raved about. He, um, he, I remember I put this in the warmers and he was just like, oh my gosh, where has this been this whole time? Like, why have you not been warming this? This smells amazing. <laughs> so I was like, I know, right? Like, I just, it, yeah, the, it, it's a mind trip for sure, but it's delightful. It's really, really nice. If you don't smell sour milk from this. <laughs> um, blueberry cheese, some people say they smell cat pee in this too. I don't, I don't get any of that. I do get cheesecake. 
without the calories, <laughs> which is even better. Uh, blueberry cheesecake is described as thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and a del and delicious blueberries. Ding, ding, ding. Absolutely. I 100% agree with this scent description. Also the category, both scents, they absolutely belong in this category. Um, and I agree with the, with the scent descriptions as well. Fantastic. So that is blueberry cheesecake. Next one is Clementine Cupcake. And I'm so happy that Sensi decided to come out with this particular scent because this is the perfect like spring, summer bakery scent. Um, next to Mango Shortcake, which is not in the catalog, but a part of a limited time collection. Fantastic. I just think like marrying and mingling like the fruity notes with the bakery like cakey notes is just fantastic for the spring and summer months and i love this so i'm really really happy that scentsy um came up with this scent because like i said baked apple pie for me smells more fall just just for me so i don't really reach for this during the spring and summer months um fall absolutely but spring and summer not so much blueberry cheesecake Definitely, but I kind of have to be in the mood for it. It's a very distinct cheesecake scent. So you kind of have to be in the mood for this, but this is nice. This is just on a day when you feel like, you know what? I want something springtime bakery. This is perfect. So you get that like cakey note, the rich sweetness, but you also have the brightness of the citrus in here. That's really great. So. Clementine Cupcake is a warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. So totally agree. This is a great one. So love that. Okay, next and definitely there's only one of these that I feel like does not belong in the bakery category. So I'll just put that out there. <clears throat> okay, next one is lemon drizzle cake. I have feelings about this. Um, I... I have, I have feelings. <laughs> Are they good feelings? Um, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> they're not. Um, th this is fine. This was actually a part of our Easter collection last year. And man, I had high, high hopes for this one. I really wanted this to smell like a lemon pound cake. Um, and this, it, there's just something off about this there's it it does smell like lemon cake and baby powder <laughs> like i don't know where the baby powder is coming into play but it's there for me <clears throat> i wanted to love this so much and i just and who knows i i since it's available i may wind up doing some mixing and stuff but to be honest where i've got like lemon coconut chiffon in my club like I'm gonna reach for that tenfold over the lemon drizzle cake. I really wanted this to be, I wanted this to be something that it's not. So kind of a bummer, but if you wind up getting the scent or if you've gotten the scent and you smell the same powdery note, not everyone smells that. I will just put that out there. That's just something that my nose does um, that I pick up this like weird um, kind of powdery note to this <clears throat> that not everybody does. So don't let me completely deter you from at least trying it. And then if you get it and you also smell the powdery note, I would say maybe mix it with some like vanilla bean buttercream or something to kind of like help with that like powder note. So lemon drizzle cake is described as lilac sugar, which is what I think is transforming in my nose to baby powder. That's, that's all I can think of because everything else, like it sounds like it should be absolutely perfect. So I, I don't know. Lilac sugar and vanilla icing drizzle add sweetness to lemon butter cake. So that all sounds like it should be incredible. And this has like the base to being something incredible. <laughs> but then just on that back end, I just get something a little bit powdery. A little powdery so lemon drizzle cake okay next one can you guys guess which one is probably not gonna make my top six <laughs> did i not make that like totally obvious there okay next one is mocha doodle and mocha doodle is a great scent especially if you like those like not overly coffee scents but just more of a hint of coffee and more like chocolate 
chocolate coffee. I mean, that's what a mocha is. It's chocolate coffee, right? Um, but th this is just done so well. I feel like for me, like this is the best like coffee scent for me. Um, I, cause I don't typically like coffee scents for home fragrance. That's just me unpopular opinion. There's a lot of people who love coffee scents, but I feel like I want a little more sweetness. And so Mocha Doodle does that for me every single time. It's great. Okay. This is described as also, um, I used to warm this in the dental office that I used to work in and got compliments all the time from the patients. They'd be like, what is that smell? It smells so good. <laughs> so Mocha Doodle for the win. Uh, this is described as delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa balanced with sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. So there you have it. And I feel like it just the other added sweetness to this scent is just everything that it needs, in my opinion. So I love it. So milk a doodle. Okay, next one. The one I don't agree with being in the bakery category of fragrances is Sugar Blossom. Sugar Blossom is actually a new release and it's not bakery. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just not bakery. Um, I, this is to me, this is more floral. It's nice. It's a pretty floral. It's a sweet floral. I think it's really pretty, but I, I don't believe that this belongs in bakery. Just me. But Sugar Blossom is sugar dipped golden blossoms. See, there's blossoms. <laughs> I, I don't know why they thought this should be bakery, but okay. Um, sugar dipped golden blossoms adorn a shimmering fusion of sugared citrus and vanilla. The sugared citrus the vanilla is basically not there so like as i'm thinking vanilla and i'm thinking like that vanilla bean buttercream or simply vanilla like something that's like adding a lot of sweetness there I, I really don't pick up the vanilla in this so if you are someone who you're more of a like sweet floral kind of person and less bakery you're probably not watching this video <laughs> But if you are, just because you're curious, um, I think you'll actually really like this. This is a really nice, sweet floral. I think this is a really pretty bedroom and bathroom scent. I, I don't think this is bakery, personally. That's just me. Okay, last but most certainly not least is vanilla bean buttercream. Of course, you cannot have a bakery category without a good, solid vanilla scent, right? And that's what this is. And this is so bakery. This is so sweet. This is, you can almost eat it. You can smell how delicious and sweet that like rich, thick ice buttercream, like icing is. It's really good. It's really, really good. This is definitely going to give any scent. If you're into mixing and things, this is going to give any scent that bakery push that it needs for you to want it to be like warmed up or anything like that that's what this is going to do for anything like shoot even if you get sugar blossom and you think oh this is too floral for me honestly try adding some vanilla bean buttercream i haven't done that but I, that actually sounds like it would be amazing um but you can honestly add vanilla bean buttercream to anything to either mellow it out or give it a more bakery spin um and it's gonna pretty much work for you nine times out of ten so if not 10 times out of 10, but bestseller vanilla bean buttercream is described as decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. It really is like, it's super rich, super sweet, like vanilla icing. It is so good. <laughs> so, so good. I love it. So vanilla bean buttercream. Okay. Which one is not going to make my six picks? <laughs> um, lemon drizzle cake is not <laughs> so okay so why don't we do we'll do something a little bit different because i think for this series i don't think i've been like rating like rating them I've, I've been giving you my six picks without like necessarily rating them so let's do something different today let's rate them which is my favorite so okay let's go one two three two three 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 four five six nine, nine, nine. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so we've got six and I have rated them. This is, this is some serious business here. So number one, this would be my, my favorite of the current bakery category of fragrances that are currently available in the catalog. Vanilla bean buttercream. Number one, number two, Clementine cupcake. Number three would be mocha doodle. Number four, blueberry cheesecake. 
number five, baked apple pie. And number six, and only because I don't think it belongs in the bakery category, but I like it better than lemon drizzle cake, is sugar blossom. <laughs> sugar blossom is really pretty. I just don't think it's a bakery scent, but I like it better than lemon drizzle cake. So there's that. <laughs> Those are my top six picks for the bakery category for the 2023 spring and summer Scentsy season. There you have it. Let me know down below in the comments, what are your favorite bakery scents? I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing what your favorites are. So fun to hear from you guys. Also, let me know, do you get the weird baby powder note from Lemon Drizzle Cake? I don't think I'm alone, but I know there's plenty of people who don't pick up that powder note. So you can come sit at the table with me where you smell the powder note in this for whatever reason. All right, you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.